Oh, hello. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll be up front. Uh, this is actually a sales call, so I'm not sure if you'd like to hang up now or let me have 30 seconds and then decide. Depends what you're selling. Ah, well, look, at the end of 30 seconds, if you want to hang up, by all means, please do. So, I typically get invited in normally by um, GPs who, who, who run healthcare services, um, and often they're frustrated when it comes to dealing with recruitment agencies. Often it's because they're... Others tell me one of their biggest concerns is they actually don't... Or finally, perhaps you just... You're probably going to tell me that you've never experienced any of this, I'm guessing. Never. Never experienced any of that. Never? Am I detecting sarcasm or are you just... Uh... No, it's totally sarcastic. It happens to me all the time. It happens to you all the time. Okay, if you could wave a wand then, if you could pick one of those things, um, a race to the bottom, um, selling information and not really helping or perhaps just annoying you, if you could pick one to eliminate forever, which would you pick first? Um, I, I suppose it's just the, it's the incessant um, phoning me, asking me whether we've made a decision when sometimes a decision is in mind to make. Yeah. Secondly, it's the sending me CVs for a job in Suffolk for somebody who lives in Scotland who has got no intention of oh. ever relocating. Um, and just basically filling my days empty, empty promises and useless bloody CVs that never go anywhere. Oh. Um, that sounds frustrating. Uh, well, it's, it's, look, we don't have a huge problem with recruitment with doctors. Mm. It's mainly recruitment with nurses that we battle with. Yeah. Um, but we do have several doctor posts available. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I'm open to them being called by absolutely anybody. Okay. Uh, I've had my 30 seconds. Is it all right if we talk for maybe one more minute? No, no, go ahead. Yeah, so look. <sighs> Can you, you've obviously given me some examples of, of, of how this affects you. I mean, how long has this been going on? How long have you been experiencing this with recruiters? Well, I think this, is, uh, this has been going on, well, I've never known this to be any different. Okay. The, the different organisations require, you know, will have different systems. Yeah. The organisation, I mean, at the moment, um, we go through the poll, which is a nightmare. Yeah. We have in-house recruitment people, which do a certain amount of the work, yeah. and then out of desperation, we often end up paying huge fees to local agencies oh who happen to find us somebody, which is fine, we're happy to pay those fees if they find us a candidate yeah. who then stays. Um, the, I don't take phone calls from local agencies. Yeah. They're all listed in my phone to answer Pulse, don't answer Medac. This guy's in pain. <laughs> Because, yeah, we just never get anywhere with them. Right. But, have you uh, have, have you tried to fix this problem? Is there anything you've done to try and eliminate the? This does sound extremely frustrating uh, from this end. Well, it's not it's not a massive issue for me because okay. I'm only involved in the doctor recruitment. Right. So it, it irritates me. It irritates me. But invariably, yeah. the doctors that I recruit come through my little black book. Yeah. You know, and it's a relatively yeah. small world of addiction doctors. Yeah. And addiction doctors are the only doctors I recruit. Okay. So, you know, I'm sitting in a very small pool and I pretty much know where the fish are now. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I've been in the third sector. I've been recruiting doctors for addictions in charity for 15 years now. Yeah. So, um, okay. we've got a few vacancies that, you know, anyone is welcome to fill. Yeah. Um, and that's where we're at. I see, and all this time you spend with these useless recruiters, I mean, what, have you ever put a figure on how much that costs you? I oh, know, I'm sure it's well. It doesn't cost me a lot because I don't take their calls. Yeah, but and you're... you're... I, 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 well, no, I, I haven't. I haven't. Right, yeah. So I, I get the feeling this, this is frustrating for you. I mean... Um, have you given up trying to fix it? Do you think this is just the way it's got to be? Or do you think if there was a better way, you'd explore it? I don't think any one way works. Yeah. So, you know, we, we've gone out to procurement and we've had preferred providers in the past. Yeah. We've um, we used the polls for whatever the hell they do. I've never been able to work out what the poll does. <laughs> we've got our own internal talent team yeah. and recruiters. Um, and then we use, you know, 
we, we do everything that is available. Yeah. So there's no, um, and we get bits and pieces from everyone. Yeah. So, okay. you know, we have refer a friend team, you know. Yeah, it's If tough. a local agency started up tomorrow, yeah. phoned me up with a good candidate for a position that I had, yeah. we would take it yeah. and pay them their 20 grand. Um, yeah, no, so, I yes. hear that. I hear there's, that. There's no, there's no single solution that we've ever found. Right. Okay. Well, look. Is that what you're offering? Well, maybe. I mean, I'll be upfront. I, I don't know because I don't know enough about your structure and how you go about recruiting. If we can fix this completely for you, but we have helped um, quite a few healthcare uh, businesses who say these very things. This is why I call up and discuss them, but they are frustrated yeah. with the amount of time they spend, the useless CVs, the pointless candidates that they send them. And, and so I don't know if I can fix you because I don't know enough, but let's pretend I could. And you believe we could do that once you saw how we operate. Is there any reason you wouldn't invite me in for half an hour, 45 minutes to, to view that? And at the end, if you don't feel there's anything there, you can tell me to sling my hook and you'll never hear from me ever again. Holly, you're more than welcome to come and, 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 and uh, tell us what you do. Right. Um, okay. Have you? you know, that's, that's absolutely fine. Fine. Have you have you got your your diary available? I don't, because I'm just walking through the pouring rain and I've just stepped into the press. Oh no. Me. So if you drop me an email, yeah. then I can respond to it. Yeah. Okay. So, and where would you like you my email address? I uh, no. Give it to me just in case. <laughs> Co. UK. And um. When, if we were to have a meeting, got any idea in mind, would you want to do this within the next fortnight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we can do that in the next yeah. fortnight. Yeah. yeah, and if you want to discuss those posts with us, you can, but there's no obligation to. This is literally to find out if we can help. I'm sorry, one second, and I'll call your last case, please. Um, sorry, what was that? I was going to say, there's no obligation to discuss the current post you got with us. This is just to figure out if we can help you. Does that make sense? I'm more than happy to tell you the current post. Oh, well, if you want to, if you want to, that's fine. And, and last thing then, I'm going to let you go. Um, by the end of that meeting, if you don't feel um, we're somebody you want to move forwards with, by all means tell us no. Would you be okay doing that? Absolutely. And Absolutely. likewise... And likewise, if I don't feel we're a fit for you or we can actually help eliminate this, I'll tell you no. We're not going to become one of the same. Yeah, is that okay? Absolutely fine. And usually what happens then is if we don't say no, we figure out a way to move forward. So we'd agree a next step if you'd be comfortable doing that. Cool. Cool. Fine. Cool. Send, um, me a, send me an email and we'll... We'll get that appointment in. All right, then. We'll... <laughs> don't get too wet and um, I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Perfect. Thanks for All right. Thank you. Yes.